This is Sparta! Ooh. On the show tonight, the star of 300! Top music! Ooh. Acting royalty! Ooh. And a cute little doggy! Ah. Let's start the show! First show of 2012, and what a show it's going to be. Hollywood hunk Gerard Butler is here. <laughs> Sherlock star Martin Freeman is here. Yes. <laughs> Doctor Who assistant Karen Gillan is on the show. <laughs> Musical superstar Noel Gallagher is here. I wasn't lying. The star of the new silent movie, The Artist, Uggy the Dog, is here. <laughs> oh, dog, 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 dog. Oh, look at Uggy. Oh, Uggy <laughs> living the film star life. That's him on the red carpet at the premiere. Oh, here he is partying afterwards. Whoa! <laughs> Very excited to be meeting uh, Jared Butler, star of the hit film. Oh, my, oh, my, yes. Star of the hit film 300. You know. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. A Greek man stripped to the waist, always erotic. Well, <laughs> nearly always. <laughs> Imagine 300 of them. Whoa. <laughs> Martin Freeman's joining me. Yes, he is. Oh. Martin currently appearing as Dr. Watson in the brilliant new series of Sherlock. What's he at? Fantastic. Uh, now, the next episode, the next episode is based on the Hound of the Baskervilles. Yeah, a terrifying dog that ate two of the Baskerville family. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I could not eat another Baskerville. <laughs> uh, the first episode was uh, action packed, ladies and gentlemen. Holmes and Watson had to deal with a robbery in Baker Street, a heist in Westminster, and even a snatch in Belgravia. <laughs> Watching himself, Martin Freeman! They love you all. Like, we we'll, won't we'll ask where that screaming's coming from. They just love you all. <laughs> Equally. <laughs> Equally. Yeah. Just because you had got a bigger round of applause, that means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> by, the way, by the way, this is from uh, Martin's partner. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, Tell me to pass that on. He's a vessel for mm. love. Oh, that's really lovely. Mm. That's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, you went right past Karen yeah. Gillan. <laughs> <laughs> We already had a kiss. Oh, did oh, okay. Well, fair enough. <laughs> I'll keep the show as quick as possible. Uh, <laughs> to get back to it. No. <laughs> and you've just come from a premiere. I did, yeah. Yeah, of Coriolanus. Yeah. Coriolanus, yeah, yeah. Very good. So, uh, but I gave that up to come and see you. That's very good of you. And now, you look very nice, but I thought, you know, you're a Scot. I thought you might be sporting, you know, the kilt on the red carpet. No, no. Do you ever do the kilt? Oh, yeah, I've done the kilt. I've on done the, the red kilt. carpet? Not in the red carpet, no. I don't think oh, I you did. should do it. Yeah, maybe I should. A lot of people are going, yes, you have. <laughs> in Glasgow. Oh, I did! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you want to answer these questions for me? <laughs> By the way, this, this lady here, fault, I mean, basically, did you move to America? She's from Scotland, but, but just goes wherever, wherever I go to support. That, that lady there with the bar. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you know the answers <laughs> nice. better than I do. So okay. if I'm saying anything wrong, you you keep me in line. Uh, apparently she will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Minutes what? into the show. Yes, you have. <laughs> So I, maybe I, I wore a, 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 a kilt at my sister's wedding, though, in, in, in Paisley, Scotland, and I had to go up and do a reading. And, and my mother and the family were in the front row. And, of course, as you know, in Scotland, there's a certain rule to wearing the kilts. And, you know, I'm sitting like this. And I look, and everybody's kneeling forward, you know, at the podium. And my mum is, is looking at me, and she's doing this, and she's going... <laughs> <laughs> I think that she's telling me to pray. <laughs> and the whole congregation is watching me, so I'm like this, and I'm looking at her, and I'm like, and I go, <laughs> like this. And she's like, <laughs> and then I realize that everybody is staring right oh. up my So I'm like, and I'm like this, and I go, and I go. <laughs> and that's why I always forget that I've worn kilts. It's always a disaster. Because yeah. uh, you're from Scotland as well. I am, yeah. So have you had a kilt experience? I'm still traumatised by something that happened to me um, the other day, actually. So I went to my cousin's wedding and I thought, I'm going to film the occasion and then give it to her as a Christmas present. <laughs> and then <laughs> I was going through all the material and somebody had obviously taken the camera. This wasn't me. Um, and it went all dark and I could see like something moving around. Um, and then I suddenly realised that it was an up-kilt shot of my cousin. Ooh. Oh! It was horrible! Oh, did you leave it in or did you take it out? I, it's deleted. Oh, you, did you really? Yeah, I could I don't want to look at that. DVD extras on the no, wedding. No, no. Yes. No, Here's a shot here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Now listen, not only are we pleased, Jerry Butler, that you're on the show, we're glad you're on planet Earth. Because we nearly lost you before Christmas. Didn't yeah. We? I mean, was that true? Because it was on the news. Mm. Uh, well, it's true then. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, actually, this is one of the, the, the few times that, that reports maybe were not exaggerated. No, it was, it was a pretty close call. I mean, the, the movie that I'm, uh, that I'm making is about Big Surf. So we're in a place called Mavericks where the waves are huge. and, and I'd been out there, you know, paddling in big waves. I even surfed a couple of big waves. And then suddenly, these waves came out of nowhere. And I'm with three of the best surfers in the world, and they're just going, paddle, Jerry, paddle! And I'm paddling on my board as, as it just, this wave spread across the skylight, and it came, and it was about 30 feet high, and oh just dived in, and it took me. And I was under, and I'm thinking, you get to that stage where you're like, oh, I gotta get up. I, gotta, I lost, that ripped my leash off, so I knew there was nothing to pull me up. I'm just tumbling, 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 going, going, going. And I'm thinking, all right, I need to get up. I need to get up. And then I felt the next wave go, and it all started all over again. Wow, and I'm my like, God. Wow. I'm like, I can't believe this is happening. There's a whole film. All I could think was, there's a whole film crew up there, and they're going. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just ask a question? I'm interested. How long did it feel like you were under? Because you know when people say, you know, your life rushes before you and just time changes. How long did it feel like you were under? Well, I've had a few hairy experiences in training for this movie because mm. it's about big wave riding. So I think I've got out of my depth a couple of times. Mm. Um, sometimes you're only under for 10, 15 seconds, but you That's feel a lot, though. like you're yeah. under for two minutes. Yeah, but yeah, this yeah. I was under for almost a minute. Jesus, really? Um, Anyway, oh my God, I'm reliving this yeah, right no, now. Yeah, no, terrible. <laughs> well, let's move on, a bad thing. <laughs> Audience going, why is he telling us this story? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't chat show gold. <laughs> uh, now, uh, Jared, I think I've done very well to hold off till now. Let's talk about your body. Because... Uh, <laughs> is, that, is that you now? Is that you surfing now? No, I don't know where that is, actually. Oh, right. I, uh, <laughs> is that a kill? Do you, we know where it is? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. It, it, Hawaii. It's Hawaii. Seriously, seriously. Yeah. Is this serious? Yeah. Really? <laughs> it was Hawaii. <laughs> wow. wow. You were there. You probably took the photo. <laughs> <laughs> so it was Hawaii. But that was 300 the first time that you seriously kind of did the bodybuilding and everything. No, I, I did it for, uh, for Tomb Raider. Uh, of course, for, that was first, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was then. But without a doubt, that's the movie where I kind of went a little crazy, you know, and, and uh, it became... I mean, I was, I was training six hours a day when I did mm. 300, and yeah. it was... You, you know, I, would, I, would, I was pumping, you know, and I would have a trolley of weights round, and it just, you know, between each, each take, you know, because it, it, it actually, in all seriousness, really 
helped me get into the intensity of the character because I, I noticed in another movie I had done half a Beowulf where it was a Viking movie and I'd done half of it on weights and half of it not and I could so see a difference with you know the aggression the, the testosterone the, 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 the yeah. testosterone actually yeah that's in the, the, mm. and, and the character when at the period when I wasn't because in love actually Martin you had yes. to get your kids off you were a porn double well I must say this <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say this in, in, for Richard Curtis's sake. I wasn't meant to be a porn double. I was meant to be a, like a, a double on the set of something like An Eyes Wide Shut, sort of high-end, oh. legit movie, oh. but with a bit of shagging in it. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> but did you feel the pressure to kind of... Yes, I got a one-pack. Um, Richard, um, Richard was strict with me about that. I came in with an eight-pack, and he said, it's got to go. <laughs> it's got to look more normal. It's got to look more approachable. So, um... No, it would be, it would have been silly for me to have played like a, a nice, likeable bloke with, you know, with Jared's physique. Yes. Not that I, I probably wouldn't have got Jared's physique because I don't think I have that same commitment. No. I don't think I have that. And I take my hat off to that. And in between movies, when you don't have to look like that, do you let it go? Depends what I, what I have coming up next, you know, and, and, and I always try and keep in some kind of condition. Because I do, I train, when I train, I get, it's very... Intense, yes. uh, you, you know, especially if you're playing a role like Leonidas, and, um, and uh, sometimes you, you you let go as yeah. intensely. And uh, have, have you ever kind of you know met a nice lady and sort of got home and she's taken some clothes off and she's gone, "Are you the Jared Butler that yes. was in 300?" <laughs> <laughs> Too many times. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they asked for their yeah. money back. Uh, <laughs> 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 Well, the guys used to come up to me and say, you know, listen, you, it's hard. You watch, uh, I watch that movie and you have that body, and it's hard for me when I have, you know, I, I have a girlfriend and I don't have a body like that. And I'm thinking, I don't have a body like that, and I am that guy. So, you know, suddenly you see yourself by a swimming pool and, you know, you're not looking at your best. And you literally, this is what happens. You see people going, oh, there's your act. Oh, my God, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You start breathing in a little bit before. <laughs> oh, it's a little chilly. I'll put my T-shirt back on. <laughs> and after that, you are very buff in uh, Coriolanus, uh, which is the new movie, which is out on January 20th. That's uh, not now, me. No, that's very fine. <laughs> You're the other name. Oh, yes. And it's Shakespeare, but it's a very accessible kind of telling of the story, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's modern day. It's actually, we filmed it in Serbia, which seemed very uh, appropriate. And... Um, yeah, that's what I loved about it. I read it and I thought, this is, um, yeah, I mean, it's Shakespeare, but it's very easy to understand. And, and uh, it, it's, it, it was actually shot by uh, the DP that shot Hurt Locker. And that's how it feels. It's kind of like yeah. a Shakespearean Hurt Locker. There's like, a lot of incredible battle sequences in it, but then a lot of political manipulation and, 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 and incredible intimacy as well. And it was a great, actually, it's the first role I ever had, first professional engagement. I ever had as an actor was in Coriolanus and um, so it's kind of come full circle that that I was sent this script by by Rafe and, and had a chance to to, to be in it again at a different and, and also I think people people kind of worry Shakespeare old will be quite slow but it's the pacing on it's fantastic oh, it's yeah. really you, you saw it yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. no it's turned out really well which I can't say for all my movies but it's, <laughs> it's um, <laughs> I'm very happy how it turned out it's a very powerful piece well, listen, uh, the clip we've got to show is basically you and Ray Fiennes in one of your fights. Yeah. And uh, they're really intense, kind yeah. of proper fights. So, here we go.